Alright then. Hello, it's like Girls One, and welcome back to Skyrim. We're gonna do some main quest shit. Because. I don't know. Maybe I wanna get better unrelenting force shout shit. Speaking of shout, I've just remembered I need to switch out my fasty runny shout to the useful one. Because I had to do that last recording session for the, the dungeon and shit. Why are you running towards me, child? Not running towards me. All right, just running past me. That's fine. Oh, hi, Doggle. Stump. And you're chasing that little girl, I imagine. This door's closed, I think. Don't really think I have much to sell to stores, anyways. So that's fine. Hello, I'd like to speak to Delphine. I'm the innkeeper. Uh, attic room. Attic room, eh? Well, we don't have an attic. Have the one on the left. Yeah, alright. The one on the left. That's uh, very nice. Fucking exploration there. I'm gonna sleep here for like 10 hours. You don't mind, do you? I know you're gonna come talk to me sometime in the future, but don't wake me up, alright? Man's gotta get his sleep. So you're the there we go. Didn't shut the door, did you? I think you're looking for this. Oh, nice. Didn't shut the door, did you? All right, cool. I mean, don't you think that horn is a little something, you know, on the nose you want to keep secret? No, righty then. I see how it is. You just don't give a fuck, do you? Uh, damn. That fucking Camilla asked for wine twice. She was about to ask me to close the door. I already did it, bitch. Oh, I'm taking a coin purse. I'm glad we're already friends enough for me to take your money and you not giving a fuck. Oh, and your bread. And your apples and all your other shit. And then, yeah, she's got the book of the Dragonborn. I'm gonna expand my collection. This is Dragon Burial Grounds, which I'm gonna just nick off of you. I'm gonna take some of your potions. Uh, oh, fuck. Yep. Yep. I hope so, but you'll forgive me if I don't escape. I just don't care. Uh, blah blah. I am not your enemy. Cool. I said in my note, I'm part of a group that, if you really are. Yep. None of these choices matter, cause it's just uh. If you don't trust me. None of this matters. It's just lower or just a fucking pigeonholed conversation. I knew that when you showed up. Just need to make your way through it. Fuck. So the thumb are after you. That's the next thing. No! Why are you looking for the Dragonborn? And then she's part of the Blades. Which, I mean, doesn't really matter to you if you haven't either read the books or played Oblivion. Or ask her about it, I guess. Um, and you do learn a bit about it later. Yeah, because there's that dude who's part of the Blades who's like, I'M THE LAW MASTER! And it's a good time. We're going to go there, and you're going to kill that dragon. Yeah, cool. Does not matter. I need to get into my traveling gear. Give me a minute. And then I'll tell her just meet her there because I want to get my travel companion. Conjure, nice. Oh, that's better. Thirty-eight. Do you need something? Um. Can I just? Are you just gonna meet me there? All right. Rise and fall of the blades. Yep. There's the. Tick. Tapered. Nice bit of crafting materials here. Giant's toe, damn. See, how does she collect all this shit? And no one realize that, hey, oh, wait a minute. She's actually a fucking crazy ass ninja bitch. Oh, yeah, and a blade sword. Forgot she had that. It's pretty cool. Might use it. It's not very useful. It's only 19 damage. I mean, fuck, the one next to it's 25, and the one Rex beside it is 14, which is pretty damn close. I think it's a one-handed sword. Like, pff, is it at all like, useful? Blade sword. I don't know, maybe I'll enchant it with something cool later on, just to give it a reason to use. Enhance it and shit. We'll see. Well, actually, uh... 
Yeah, split up. I'm gonna check the forge and see what it takes to. I have so much to steal. Whatever you need. To uh, make it better. Blade sword? Yeah, steel. Goes up to 24. Damn. Alright, I'll do that. It's gonna be a cool ass blade sword. And then I'll enchant it. No, I need to buy another grand soul gem before I can enchant it. It's gonna cost me a lot of money. I'll do that later. For now, main quest! Oh ho! Uh, I'll learn the better shout first. Because that will be useful for the fight. What is this? I'm gonna learn part three of the shit, aren't I? Do I talk to Parthenax yet? When do you talk to Parthenax? Yeah, amongst supplies, just chill out there. Pushing the Magicka. Somebody believes they use Magicka to lose their shouts. Oh, it's not Magicka, it's the power! That comes from knowledge. Or Bloodline. It's really fucking funny how these guys spend their whole fucking lives learning just like one shout. And you can learn it by just like standing next to a wall for a few seconds. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Hey! It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. Hey! You are ready to learn the final word. Fusroda! Remember that fucking like supermarket commercial? Where they had like a guy going it was some like I don't know what it was from. There's some guy like in a grocery store doing Fusro Da shit, just shouting that. And he had the voice and all that shit was shouting. In the supermarket, it was like, HOLD THE PHONE THERE FROM THE MUNDO! And everything was flying everywhere. It's a good time. I wonder how many dragon slows I've got. Just sort of saved. Probably a nice amount. Hey, oh, got the Steve. Ch a Steve achievement? No, a Steam achievement. Oh, I got two, I think. Alright, you might want to leave. Here, one sec. Alright, I'm not standing quite between you, but whatever. Dude, I remember the first time I, I stood through this sequence, I was like, Oh shit, are they gonna be like, gonna be like super powerful god being fucking over 9,000? No, it's just... Like, I don't even know... Are they testing me? Why are they... It's, it's, it's not really important. It doesn't make me stronger. This is just like, hey oh, time for us to uh, fucking bless you. Because you sneezed. I chew, bless you. Gotta make sure that Satan doesn't get in. Yeah. Dava, da rook! Oh, pretty dope, huh? isn't it? I forgot I had that face tattoo. Sweet deal. Um, alright, let's, uh... Yeah, the fucking, it always bothered me that... Like, any time anyone, like, back when people were saying it in this game was a big deal, it was Fus Roda! But in this, it's Fus... Pause... Roda! It's like, uh, that just bugs me, for some reason. It's just like, well, the character pauses, but everyone else just does, Fus Roda! Or whatever the fuck. Or something closer to that. No one goes, Fus Roda! Like the character does. Just complaining about shit, really. Where's Kynes Grove? There it is. Damn, been to a few places that are nearby it. I'll just go to the stables. Could buy a horse, get a lot of money. Cost like, what, thousand? Five hundred? Five hundred? Thousand? Two thousand? How much does it cost? I'm not gonna get a horse. Fucking worthless. They die. And... I don't know. It always bugs me in games like this, or like like GTA or Saints Row. The Saints Row not so much. Saints Row did a good. But GTA and shit. Like... For the horse, I mean, does it follow me? What what does it do? And I don't want to waste money on something that's not gonna like follow me everywhere. Like, what if I lose it? Where does it go? And I think 
Skyrim system is if you fast travel, just like in Companion, it'll uh, pop up near you and be like, hey oh, I was with you this whole time. And in Saints Row, you got like an inventory screen that you can access. But in GTA, it's just like you gotta trust your garage. And it's like, I don't trust the game's mechanics to work, ever. So I never... I don't know, I never like deck out a car, because I always think I'm just gonna like lose it. If, because... In Saints Row, I know, if my car gets like blown up or whatever the fuck... Then I'll, I'll just have to go back to the garage and it'll be there. It doesn't fucking matter if it was... If it's supposed to still be around. But in GTA, if my car gets blown up, like, is it still gonna be in the garage? Sometimes it isn't. And I've got, I've got, sad memories. Losing cars and shit, and it's like, no. That was like my favorite. <laughs> oh, you got any soul gems on you? Fuck. Take a look. Worthless menu. Uh, common, 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 drawn them. Grand soul gem with a grand soul. Damn, son. I might just have to take that off of you. Yeah, I'll do that. Make my, uh... Yeah, sweet deal. I'll use that to make uh, my blade sword super epic. When I get around to making my blade sword. And things will be groovy. And then that's Alduin resurrecting a dragon. I don't know where I'm technically supposed to be standing right now, but I'll just run up this way. I didn't, I didn't actually go up through Kynes Grove. I don't know. Where even is Kynes Grove from where I am? Because that's how you're supposed to like get up here, like walk around town or whatever. Oh, there's Delphine. Delphine, uh, the resident of Delphine Island in Super Mario Sunshine. <laughs> Fucking Delphino. Yeah, that's what it's called. Dude, I remember fucking hiding behind Delphine for this whole scene. Because I was scared if he saw me, I'd be fucked. But, and I never actually saw this bit. So that's, I was always super confused, like, following. Because she's like, did you see that? You resurrected the dragon! Oh my god, and I was like, I didn't see that happen. And I didn't see him fly away either. I thought I just was fighting him. And I thought he was talking to me. Because he looks at you. Well, the fucking thing's talking. And I always just thought he was just talking to you. And for whatever reason. And I was just like hiding like, oh no, he sees me. I had no clue this was going on the first time I fucking saw this go down. That was the wrong thing. That's also the wrong thing. I'm gonna just start fucking them up if I can. Can I? Yeah, I can. Alright, sweet deal. I'm gonna actually summon that uh, cool bitch. <laughs> He's pretty badass. It'll be good to have him around. Do I got Benor with me as well? I do. So I've got my HNR Benor and fucking uh, Cliff. He's not Cliff anymore! Damn. Alright. I'm gonna just slap a bitch. Everyone else is gonna slap a bitch. And he shouldn't be able to take off. No, he's, he's held slow enough. <laughs> Five on one. It was pretty obvious who was gonna win. And more dragon bones? Only one scale, really? Yeah, I'm absorbing his soul. Ha da da! Does not matter. Oh, yeah, I do have that shout become ethereal. Don't get unlock it. I got two dragon souls. About to get three. Yeah, that one's not very useful. Except if you're in like a dangerous situation, I guess you can hide into the void. I never find any dragon shouts because I never go dungeoneering. I always like ignore the shouting mechanic except for force. Whatever the fuck it's called. Unrelenting force. Yeah. I talk a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
know it's an answer. Nope. I really do not care. I'm one of the uh, whatever gets to this conversation the quickest. Gear the blades. Uh, what's our next move? Nice. We need to talk to the guy who was in Riften. Or are we going to the Thalmor embassy first? I guess the Thalmor. Yeah, fuck the Thalmor. They're bitches. That's the main reason I don't like siding with Thalmor. The, uh, the Empire. Or whatever the fuck they're called. Because the Imperials. Because one, the fucking Imperials. Like, what the fuck? Villain name right there. It's like Stormcloaks, Rebellion. I don't know, it just makes sense to side with the, the underdog. Quote unquote. But, um. Yeah, the Imperials. Who sides with the Imperials? I know, like, the Stormcloaks. Or, like, the people around there are supposedly racist. But this, like, just because. I don't know. Everyone. Not everyone, but like, members of their group are racist doesn't mean you have to be racist to be part of it. Or that they have any racist ideas at all. Or that their leader, I mean, Alfric's just like, we gotta stop these fucking... Well, he's, he does say, fuck the elves or whatever. But that's because they're in taking his land. He doesn't just say, fuck the elves because of fuck the elves. Like, that would be racist. He's saying, fuck these high elves, son of a bitches, coming in, taking our lands. And our, 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 uh, sovereignty and shit. You know, for Skyrim and all of that. And that's, that's why you can't join the Imperials. Because they don't, they don't care about Skyrim. They're just rolling over like some fucking dogs. Want their belly rubbed by the Thalmor. And I do not want my belly rubbed. Actually, a belly rub would be nice right about now. It's, uh, relaxing. I'm in the episode <laughs> as well as the recording session here. Gonna get a belly rub. Uh, yeah. So this is Black Cross 1, playing good old Skyrim. Gonna do like a proper save. Shabbity beep it a bop. Saved. Hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day. And goodbye. <laughs>